everyone, Petal is blessed here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm coming on today to share with you guys how to make a lovely Valentine centerpiece or even an accent piece for your home. We are going to take these items that you see here. We have some mirrored glass tiles. We have some nice gems from Amazon. We also have some glitter and we have some crushed glass and of course our vase and also some bling chain that we'll be using so we're gonna if you want to see how I take all these things put them together and make a lovely vase for our Valentine's or even an accent piece like I said before you know what time it is it's time to let's get started okay we're gonna start with our vase that we have here and we're also gonna use some of this um, glam silver ribbon that we got from BB craft and we're just going to use some hot glue and glue it going right around our vase. And now we are going to use some of our pink glam chain that we have here. <laughs> and we'll also be using some E6000 to glue the chain going right around our vase. If this is your first time clicking on to my videos I'd like to say welcome and I hope you will hit the subscribe button and hit the bell twice so you'll be notified every time we upload another video and you'll become part of our Glamster team and if you're my oldie and my goodie thank you so much for clicking on today's video and seeing the DIY that I have to share with you guys today and I hope you all will give me a thumbs up yes press that like button if you like the video that we have today I would really appreciate it. No one can tell me who to love. If loving you is wrong, I don't wanna be right. If loving you is wrong, I don't And now we are going to use some of our mirror tiles that I got from Amazon. And I'm gonna use some E6000 to glue them down. Now on my Amazon site that I order these tiles from, they are staying five by five tiles but they come and they're this tiny. I don't know why, because some of the other tiles I got that say five by five, they're a little bigger, but I don't know. This is what Amazon tells me, so that's what I have to tell you. They state five by five mirrored tiles. And now I'm gonna add some more tiles to the bottom of the vase. And now I'm going to put some of our pink chain going around just above the top part of the mirror tiles at the bottom. And like you see, I'm using the E6000 to place our chain down. And I will be doing two loops of the chain, not just one. I'll be doing two. And now I'll be adding some of our pink chain along the top part of our vase. And I think I'll be adding two, two loops to the top part also. And I am using the E6000 to place the chain down. But you know, any, any adhesive that you would like to use on your decor will be absolutely fine. And now it's time to add our crushed glass which I didn't have enough of the pink crushed glass. So what I did, I added some more of the um, white, the clear color crushed glass as you see here. I added some of that into the bag and I also added some glitter, <laughs> some silver glitter I added to our bag also. 
and then I added some of these confetti little cut up confetti pieces I add and you can get these confetti pieces from the Dollar Tree I added them all to the bag and mixed it up <laughs> so let me just show you how it looks we just mix it up all together <laughs> and this is how it looks oh gosh the camera is not focusing too well okay here it is in the bag hope you guys can see it a little better now but it's really nice it's shiny and nice so we're going to use some Mod Podge now and we are going to apply it to our vase so I'm just going to apply the Mod Podge going right around a good amount I'll be applying to the vase and you know if you want to use something else because I do see people use um, glue regular glue clear glue and stuff like that whatever you'd like to use to add your crushed pieces it's all up to you it's your crafting you have fun with it and you know you make it your own your own style that's fine <laughs> I like using the Mod Podge so that's what I'm using okay so now we are going to add our crushed glass pieces <laughs> put it on press it down a bit and then throw off the excess amount okay when you're finished putting on the pieces which is the first layer um, if it's not to your likeness if you want to make it thicker you can add a second layer I'm gonna let it dry for a few hours and then I'll see how it looks and decide if I'm gonna put over a second layer of crushed glass or just leave it as it is okay while our crushed glass is drying I'm gonna be using some of this pink paint that I got from the Dollar Tree isn't it pretty a pretty candy color OMG anyways I'll be painting these flowers because I didn't see any pink flowers that I liked at the Dollar Tree they didn't have any the ones that I went to so I said you know what I have some beige flowers I'm just gonna paint them myself yeah so <laughs> I'm painting them with this cotton color candy pink and now I'm just gonna sprinkle some of our silver glitter onto the flowers and I'm also gonna be using some of this pink glitter that I got from Amazon just a little bit of it sprinkle it lightly over the flowers all right my glamsters it's now a few hours later and the Mod Podge is dry so I started to put a coat of Mod Podge over our crushed glass to me I like how it looks so I'm not gonna put a second layer you can if you want when you're doing your DIY <laughs> If it's not too thickness to your liking, you can add more. But I liked how it looks, so I'm just going to add the sealing top layer of Mod Podge. And then I will set it aside for it to dry for a few hours. Okay, so our vase is not quite dry yet, but I just wanted to put on the legs. And I'm showing you this is a new thing. I haven't seen it on YouTube. We use these little knobs and they've been using them on trays, you know, on boxes. Um, I've used it on box decor also you know but I said you know what I'm gonna use it on a vase I haven't seen it and I think it's a nice idea I tried it and I liked how it looked so I'm gonna share it with you guys because I'm going to put legs on our vase which I think it looks super cute you can get these knobs on Amazon and I'm just gonna be using some hot glue you can use E6000 any adhesive that you would like to use but I'm just using some hot glue and I'm gonna glue them down just three in um, a triangle form and I think that's super cute look at it and now it's standing up okay <laughs> and here is the finished look of our decor vase slash Valentine centerpiece I think it looks elegant and nice and look at the legs I love how it looks elevated on those little crystal knobs <laughs> give our vase a different appearance you know take it to the next level <laughs> I think it looks very nice and the crushed glass with the pink the white the glitter and the little confetti pieces I think they look nice it's not coming out as well 
on the camera, but it looks absolutely beautiful. And here it is. I placed some tea lights in there. No, not tea lights, little push lights. I'm so sorry. I put the little push lights that you get from the Dollar Tree and some of the little fairy lights. Yeah, I think it looks absolutely beautiful. And here we are for our Valentine's centerpiece. And look at the flowers. Aren't the flowers absolutely beautiful? <laughs> and then you made them on your own. They're customized to your liking. I like it. <laughs> and I think it makes a lovely centerpiece. And here we go with the lights out. OMG, isn't this nice? Romantic dinner for two for Valentine's. I think it looks absolutely beautiful. Or if you want to have more at your table, no problem. It doesn't have to be a romantic dinner. It could be a lovely Valentine's dinner. Yes, or lunch. <laughs> and here we go. We have our vase on display. I think it looks beautiful. And this is without the lights. You know, you can decorate it without lights. You don't have to put lights in there. It looks lovely without the lights. And it looks lovely with the lights. <laughs> I think it looks absolutely nice. Yes, I do. A lovely piece of decor for your home. Statement pieces. You know I like statement pieces. <laughs> and here we go with the flowers inside. Yeah. You can put it anywhere throughout your home. Don't only have to be on your table. It can be placed anywhere throughout your home and it looks absolutely lovely. I love how it looks with the flowers inside. And I love my pink flowers. I think they look so nice. And I know you can't see it, but the flowers are shiny and glittery with the glitter, but it's not showing too well on the camera. So whether you like it as an accents piece without the lights or with the lights, or if you like it as a centerpiece with the flowers, I think it's an easy and glam decor for your home. <laughs> so leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think of today's DIY. And if you're new here, like I said before, welcome. And I hope you do hit that subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell twice so you will be notified every time I upload another video. And to my oldies and my goodies, like always, love you. <laughs> And remember to always stay blessed from Petal is Blessed. And I will catch you on the next one. Bye bye, everyone.